Good afternoon. Today is uh, Thursday, September 30th. The, Op the Opeso County Redistricting Advisory Commission is meeting in open session. Commissioner, with the welcome. Welcome, everybody. Uh, uh, meeting. Uh, we have uh, a very busy agenda today. I'm, I was very uh, glad that uh, there's uh, quite a few maps that, were, uh, that have been submitted for a review. Um, given the number of maps submitted, uh, the, the person that, uh, that submits it uh, will please uh, you know, explain you know, the rationale for, for your map. Uh, we will not get into a discussion on those maps. Uh, that's what Saturday is all about. Okay, but we want to uh, uh, have an understanding of the rationale behind uh, every map that's being submitted by different people. So, I, so I hope that uh, uh, that works well. Uh, I understand there's a total of nine maps: two for Justice of the Peace and seven for commissioners' uh, 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 precincts. So we got a busy uh, day ahead and a busy Saturday. So let's get started. And just for logistics, everybody has a microphone in front of them, and if the gr green button is on, you're live. If not, just press it and you'll be live. We will be in here on Saturday, too. Uh, there's a little bit more room for us. Uh, and we do have one person signed up for public comment, and that is Justice of the Peace, Jess Herrera. Okay. Good afternoon, commissioners. I'll be very brief with my comments. Um, in reviewing the maps that have been submitted and also taking into account a, a map that was submitted by Chris Benoit, I just received this briefly and doesn't seem to be here, but his comments, um, I'd imagine are something he would say if he was present here. In looking at the maps that had been submitted, the ones that stuck out to me and keeping the spirit of population, the history, of the JPs and, and on the factors that you have to consider um, have been, in, in my opinion, uh, mapped by Chris Benoit, map one by Michael Apodaca, as well as the map submitted by the League of Women Voters. I recall that Michael Apodaca had submitted three maps. He had said that map two was what he felt was his, maybe his, his favorite map is something. Uh, I took an issue with that just because it only split the JPs into seven precincts as opposed to eight precincts. And I know there'd been comment before that it was gonna be split into eight precincts. Um, what it does in splitting it into seven precincts is it gives everybody approximately 130,000 per pre 130,000 people per precinct, more or less, and you, where you have the two justices in precinct six it basically designates a population of 65,000, more or less. I could be off a little bit there. So that's why uh, those maps by Chris Benoit, League of Women Voters, as well as map one by Michael Apodaca, I think if you review those maps, uh, Chris, even in his map, uh, uh, Commissioner Benoit, states you know, that he worked off of uh, Mike Apodaca's map. And I think Mike, just by looking at it, must have worked off of... Uh, uh, the League of Women Voters map, the things that it takes into consideration, things that I would highlight, you know, is at least for Precinct 4 that I, that I note and looking at all these maps, it does keep it, it uses a good divider in that it uses um, Saragossa as a split between what could be JP6 and JP4. So I thought that was something good to point out. Uh, it looks like all those maps do keep JP7 on the west side of the mountain. I thought that was a, that, I think that was good as well because the way it stands right now, JP7 has two very, very small precincts on the other side of the mountain, which um, if you ever lived in that area, it doesn't make a lot of sense to, to go across Trans Mountain when you could just go to Judge Haggerty. Um, those are my comments. Um, I know it's a tough, uh, it's a tough thing to do, Commissioner um, Chavez. I know you did your own maps. It's, it's, it's a difficult, it's not an easy thing to do. But I, I saw that you did. I think it's a good map as well. Um, but that's all, and I'm available for comment if anybody needs, if anybody needs me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do we have anybody else, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, no, sir. That is the only person that signed up for public comment. Okay. okay let's proceed then. 
Item number three, discuss and take appropriate action regarding public participation at the October 2nd, 2021 meeting. Chairman? Uh, yes. Um, obviously, we're getting toward the tail end of, uh, of, our, uh, of our efforts. Uh, Saturdays will be uh, crucial. Uh, we want to be able to uh, uh, go through the process of reviewing every single map, um, ranking them, voting on them. Uh, the, uh, uh, um, the advice or the charge uh, in, in the resolution that created this commission basically said that if the map is unanimous, we only have, need to present that one map, okay? If it is not unanimous, then we need to present uh, whichever map gets um, the, the most, most votes for it. So uh, with, with that in mind, uh, you know, uh, I want to be able to, uh, on next uh, uh, Saturday's meeting, uh, limit uh, very much the, the amount of time the, for public comment to five minutes. Um, so that uh, uh, I don't know how long it's going to take us to deliberate on this, but uh, I want to give us enough time so that we feel comfortable that we are selecting uh, the, the correct map. Re regarding public comment on uh, Saturday, uh, we staff is recommending that we follow the protocol and the rules that the county commissioners have. Public comment is only taken during the public comment section. They have to sign up for it or let me know they want to speak. They all get five minutes and that's it. Once we get to the other items to discussing, public comment cannot stand up and say, I have a question or interrupt like we do in the commissioner's court. That way it is the debate is among you all. Uh, if they want to sign up for public comment, like on item number five on, for today or something, they can, but then they get five minutes and then they have to sit down. What we're trying to eliminate is the interaction of questions back and forth, back and forth and constant, constant uh, interrupting because you all will not be able to do your job. And that is how the commissioner's court works, that's how city council works, that's how the state legislature came up and spoke. And uh, so if we come up with final maps, I mean, there will be some comments coming on from the, from the audience also up there. But am, am I correct in saying that on Saturday we were going to come with a final map that you will present, be presenting? No, no, what we'll be, we'll be uh, reevaluating every single map that has been uh, properly submitted, okay? Um, we, we are going to uh, review uh, our perception of those maps. Uh, we are going to make uh, decisions whether uh, the maps uh, adhere to the rules that were given to us, and, and then we're going to go through a process of, uh, of voting which map uh, the commission prefers. That's, so that was my question. Do we will come up with a map that you will submit yeah, to the yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the goal Saturday is you will have a better packet than you have today. You will have all the maps that have been submitted since we started on this. Since the very first one that uh, Mr. Valdez did, I think the first one, you'll have them all in your packet. And then we'll put them up on your screens and we'll go through all of them. And you all will decide which one you like. And if you need to redraw one, we will have a capability to redraw one of the maps here in front of you guys if you guys vote to move a precinct from one place to another or a voting precinct from one place to another. Or it could be as simple as somebody walks in and says, I recommend map this one and somebody seconds it and you guys vote and it goes that fast. But you, you all will, the, the goal Saturday is to finish with a proposed county commissioner map and a proposed JP map that you all uh, vote, vote for. And, and, and bear in mind that uh, the report needs to be submitted, if I remember correctly, uh, by Tuesday of? October 12th. October 12th? Okay. okay so that, that basically gives me um, a little bit over a week to prepare the report. And then uh, on October 18th, uh, that, will, that will be presented uh, at Commissioner's Court. But the goal Saturday is to adopt the map from you all and then Mr. Valdez writes a report, you all ratify it on the 12th, and it goes to Commissioner's Court on the 18th. Uh, saying that, I do need a motion uh, for number three to discuss and take appropriate action regarding public participation at the October 2nd, 2021 meeting, and that motion is to follow the County Commissioner's public comment 
rules and protocols. And I would just like to add, if I can just interject just really quickly, this is Christina Sanchez, Assistant County Attorney. Just as a reminder as well, um, Mr. Bracobontes, and of course to this commission, in your um, redistricting advisory commission, I believe it's your bylaws, it also mentions here um, under section 12, the same rule, the same rule that we apply to the county commissioners, which is that the members of the public have up to five minutes to speak. Um, if somebody would like additional time, they can have up to one additional time at the presiding officer's discretion. So it's just reinforcing, if you will, what you already have um, as part of your bylaws. So. You have Thank a you. motion? Second. Second. Okay. Commissioner Elvidres? Aye. Commissioner Hernandez? Aye. Commissioner Ojeda? Aye. Commissioner Quintanilla? Aye. Commissioner Reza? Aye. Commissioner Taxton? Aye. Commissioner Villa? Aye. Commissioner Chavez? Aye. Uh, Commissioner Van der Tulip is absent, and Commissioner Benoit is absent. Uh, Chairman Valdez? Aye. Motion carries. Item number four, receive any new illustrative maps proposed to the commission. In uh, yes, uh, so I understand that there's uh, maps. Uh, 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 do you have a sequence in which they were submitted? Uh, do we want to follow that? Yes, sequence? we do. We have a, the PowerPoint, if they can get it on your all screens or on the team monitors in front of you, the monitors up here. And I think the first map is the, yes, sir. So, uh, Mr. Chair yes. and Ramon, I submitted a proposed map on the 27th of September. I sent it to you via email. Yes. And that is not the one that's on the packet. Uh, and so I also did submit a Word document that has the notes of the comments and the format just like we had yes. uh, uh, enacted. And so I would ask that um, I be able to exchange the correct map for yes. the one that you have in the packet. Y yes, uh, we did. There was an error with uh, Mr. Osejeda's maps. And then there's an also an error with uh, Alejandra Chavez's maps. And we're trying to correct those as we speak. We'll try to do it while one of the other presenters is speaking on their map. But, okay. And if we don't correct it for the time for this, Saturday morning you will be the first one to speak and just propose your map again. So the first map that we received is from the, the League of Women Voters. And we have uh, Mr. Ibarra here to explain it. Good afternoon, and thank you again for having me here. And uh, what, I, what the league did here, we looked at the uh, map from, that we had submitted before, and along with some of the comments that I heard uh, last week, uh, those were incorporated into this new map. And this new map here basically has precinct 166 and 167 that used to be in District 3. Those are being moved over to District 1, to Mr. Leon's. And uh, Precinct 198 and 128 are being moved from Mr. Leon to District 3. So when we do that, <clears throat> when we do that, then we came up with a deviation of 0 .008, almost perfect. And the, uh, what we have here is the, the, low, the highest district and the lowest district is just 179 people difference. So we try to get them as, as equal as possible, and uh, it's very compact, 84% there. So I'm willing to entertain any kind of questions you guys have. You guys have it there in front of you, and uh, I think it's an outstanding map. Yeah. Just for the record, you're retracting the original submission and you're substituting it with this one. Actually, we're not uh, retracting basic no. different ones, yeah. Okay. We're leaving them for you guys to decide how you want to handle that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the next map is a commissioner's court precinct map that was submitted by uh, Commissioner Quirino Villa. Yes, um, my map basically follows a one-person, one-vote concept. Uh, as you can see, uh, the population um, standard is 216,000. Um, precinct 1 goes over by 1,000. Um, but uh, the deviation is less than 1% throughout my uh, districts. Um, 
all the commissioners uh, where they vote, uh, they stay within their district. And um, if anybody has any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. So, so uh, basically what, what you did, you extended from the current map, um, precinct four, in, into the... Uh, uh, Commissioner Villa. Oh, Villa, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got the uh, yeah. I got the right map. We look the, the wrong same. person. Okay. Yeah, we look the same. Uh, sorry. We look the same. Um, okay. So so you, you extended uh, the you, you took out the portion that was in precinct two uh, that is part of the northeast and gave it to uh, in four. That was one of the major changes from the current map, correct? And and, and the others you extended um, precinct three. Uh, into uh, area south south of uh, I-10. Am, am I interpreting your? Yes, uh, because that's precinct 151. That's where Commissioner Olguin lives, and that's you know I tried to get her within her, her own district. That's what I I did. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Hernandez, it's on your screen, and it should look like this map right there. Right, you should have one. If you don't have one, we have extras. I don't. I don't have that in my packet. That's mine. No, that's that's Homer. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hold on. That one. It should look like that one, Commissioner that's, Hernandez. Yeah, that's what. Uh, yeah, I was seeing who was next. Are you? Are you uh, on on in the, your map is? Uh, I'm trying to figure out where Commissioner Ogin would be located in uh, it's located right there at the bottom and it borders I don't district 2 and district 1 I I don't know I have a problem locating right there can I but that's uh where the where that where the green and the purple I, I believe that, that uh, 151 is right above where it says 179. I thought it was 150. Yes. Well, you see 179? Can I show yeah. you on the screen? Yeah, because it, it... 151. Is she in that? It's located right here by 179. Right above it. Right above it. Sure. Where Commissioner Hogan lives? Yes, sir. What about 182 up top there in the blue? Uh, is that her place? Why, why is that? That looks a little disjointed well, I mean, see coming that? around. I was, it was a little bit, it was cut off. Cut off correctly, but then I noticed that I had put out out of her district. So I started playing with the, with the, with the precincts. And that's how I came up with the population no otherwise uh, it, you know I couldn't have done it. does that put uh, okay now yeah but does that put uh, Commissioner Leon into the Socorro no Commissioner uh, no uh, Leon is precinct uh, the blue is a uh, precinct right it goes all the way down yes it does it, get, it goes into Socorro? 126, that's his, that's his precinct, and he stays Yeah, no, I understand his precinct is there, but what I'm saying, the extension over there to uh, way south to precinct, uh, what's that precinct up there, Mosey? I can't tell. Precinct 1. But yes, his overall precinct does extend down to 164 Socorro. goes all the way to Socorro? You take him out of the city? I think 164 is in the so you know yeah. outside the city limits. You, 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 yes, Mr. Villa, you left Commissioner Leon in his precinct, right. but his overall exactly. precinct area does extend south of the freeway to Socorro. South of Socorro, all the way into the the Socorro area. So he goes out of the county now. Yeah, I mean that, yes. I understand. You know what? In the present time, he's all in the city. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
Mr. Kadina, one, one more question from me. Uh, you abided by current uh, districts. You, you did not change uh, precinct uh, when you made your map. You did not go outside the precincts? No. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Ria. Okay. Thank you. I got one step ahead. The next map is by Commissioner Homo Reza. Uh, thank you, Ramon. And uh, um, through the commissioner, I mean through the chairman, uh, all I did on my on, on this map is I, I resubmitted the one that I had turned in last week, where where I had to make a correction of putting Mr. Uh, of of Commissioner uh, Leon in his in his uh, precinct. I had left him out, so I, I made that correction. Um, and, and then, of course, because that threw the, the population off a little bit in terms of uh, trying to get an equal, uh, uh, e equal representation in each precinct, I did change some other little um, precincts. So my, my map now reflects all commissioners in their, in their uh, precincts. And then, of course, uh, the, the, the uh, precincts now changed a little bit, but the but the deviation is, is still pretty good. It's, it's an overall 1.19 percent. And uh, the only thing that I don't, wasn't quite sure is the compactness because there's different models that I was looking at. One showed 56 and two others showed anywhere between 33 and 38, so I just put that on there. Uh, I know it's important, but that was not one of my biggest criteria. Uh, was a, the, on and, the and you also extended uh, Precinct 1 Commissioner Leon's to south of the freeway, correct? A uh, little bit. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you so, kept them within the city limits. Correct. So that's where that's that's and I and I and the way I did my map is I try <laughs> to keep the west side, most of the west side on the west side, the northeast, you know, north northeast be all the way con, uh, continuing continuing all the way down to 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 the to almost down to the, to the border, and so I wanted to keep more equal equal. Uh, separations from north, east, central, and then, of course, the, the south. I mean, the way, way uh, north, north, uh, I mean, south, east. So that's how, that's, that was my thinking in, in, in doing this map. Um, I, think, I think there's a lot more interest when you keep them that way. So, so that consequently, I, I try to put most of the, the west on the west, and then, of course, Fort Bliss and, 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 and uh, Commissioner Strout's Precincts together, and then uh, and the other the other ones followed just this on the, under the same basis. So that's how I came up with my map. Questions? Do you think it would be a problem with some of the voters that uh, I don't know what the precinct is, but that uh, little finger that reaches farther down to close to uh, on on uh, one forty eight? Uh, you know, I mean, I don't know what. Precinct, you know that little green finger comes all the way down. The way down. Mm. You think you know? I, but there's they're they're all surrounded mm -hmm. by uh, one. Yeah, it was at one forty one. You know that little finger that goes down. Yeah, the little. And they're all surrounded by Leon. And Stout goes into well, that little finger goes into his uh, Leon's precinct. So, uh, don't you think it might? Provide some confusion for some of those voters there in that area. Well, no, I, I don't know. I don't know whether yeah. it would cause any, any confusion. Uh, but I think that uh, the representation. Almost, I mean, the representation would be would be. The, yeah, the thing. most of their neighbors, you know, south and north, would be basically voting in Leon's district, and they would be going to Stout's district, the ones in the middle. Well, so, you know, I mean, that's the only little green finger. Right. Confusion yeah. between the, the voters in. That general area. Correct. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it does stick out a little bit uh, uh, from from the from the precinct to precinct one, but but in order to get some equal representation, I had to put something in there, uh, and 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 I just put that one on there. Is it? Sure. It's kind of like uh, kind of our current situation where we have precinct four and precinct two, but now we're off extending it over to precinct two, precinct one, with this list, right? With that little oh yeah corridor. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that, that's, that's, uh, that's good information uh, to know. Uh, uh, we're going to get into much more detail on, on Saturday. Yeah.
but but just to you know, we want to capture the, the the main focus of their intent in building the map. So, uh, Chairman, before we go to the next map, we need a 30-second pause so we can flip Mr. Ojeda's map from the PowerPoint to the correct one. Sure. But I have an item during public comment. I neglected to say that we did receive a public comment via the email. And if we are, with your permission, I would like to read it to the commission right now. Uh, yes, please. I did, I did read it. It was part of the you, you, you all have it in your packet. Uh, we did receive an uh, email public comment from no Ms. Noel Rosenbaum, and she lives on the west side. And her email says, Mr. Bracamontes, I am very concerned about the redistricting effort when it comes to how the west side will be represented on the county court. I have lived in El Paso since 1982 and watched the growth to the northwest and understand there is even more growth, more growth in the northeast. I advocate for a map that allows the extreme northwest to continue to be part of the west side district, but to move the northeast into its own district that, that follows the east side of the mountains and moves east as needed to envelope enough territory to meet the population requirements for the district on that side. I do not understand why now, so many years after the west and northwest sides have grown in size, that the extreme northeast and eastern areas along the mountain continue to be grouped together. The concerns of the west side from downtown to the state line do not match the concerns of the east side as it extends very far northeast. Why, why not take this opportunity to split the district as it was envisioned for so many years and provide proper representation to the west side down through UTEP or maybe below that? Sincerely, Noel R. Rosenbaum. I um, neglected, neglected to read that during the public comment, but you all have the letter in front of you. Yes, um, I, I mean that, that that's a that's a valid concern, okay, and uh, and we will take that into consideration uh, on, on Saturday. Uh, I, I'm very well aware of that issue. Um, population counts uh, did not match the the, the uh, ability to do that, uh, but. Uh, uh, but maybe that's something we can get into a, a little bit uh, 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 more on Saturday. Uh. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair and uh, Ramon, mm -hmm. uh, when I read this, uh, I I took it to mean that she may be uh, asking to create another uh, commissioner, to create another uh besides the four that we had. And so I think that's out of our purview. And I agree with you that it, it doesn't make sense because of the population. If you move, say, northwest and, and take it out, to, then it, it throws off the rest of the other uh, commissioners, the districts. And so I took it to mean that she wanted us to consider creating another one, another I, area. I, I did talk to her on the phone extensively, Chairman. and. You may be right, but what she's also saying is that she'd rather the mountain, everything right. west of the mountain right. from the state line, just come on down, including down, connect it all the way to UTEP, to downtown, and keep going through the downtown until you have enough population. And to do the same thing, start northeast and come down and go east till you have enough population. She's asking for a 100% west side representation yeah. that extends to UTEP and downtown. Okay. And it's public comment, so thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, now the next map is uh, Commissioner Osejeda's, and do we have the correct one up there now, sir? Yes, you do. Can can I go up there or here? You can, up here or over, up here? Fine. Yes, sir. I'm standing up. <laughs> First of all, thank you all very much for uh, allowing me to serve and to be part of your commission. You guys are are very, very astute, very smart, very professional, and so I, I uh, thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your the, the commission here. What I did is I looked at various things, and I'll look at the comments, but first, I, I tried to get the population to be equal, 216,586 is the largest district, District 2. The, the uh, Lowest one is District 1, which is also 216, 313, okay? If you look at those, the difference between District 2 and District 1 is 273. 
which means it gives me a deviation of 0.13%. And then, so when I looked at the compactness, I looked at the analysis, and it gave me a 53 rating, which I thought was pretty good. And then as, as far as it being contiguous, it did say on the analysis it was all connected. So that meant to me, ah, I did it. It was all connected. There's no little precinct sticking out here by itself. And so uh, what I looked at <clears throat> is the growth of the population. And as you all know, the growth is east side. And I looked at the, the east view area, which is east of 375, as well as the horizon, and then also down to, to the mission, down to the, the valley. Uh, on the west side, I looked at the area that is between Trans Mountain and the west side. I, call, I think it's called Cimarron. That's a lot of growth there. And also Paseo del Norte, another street there. That's also a lot of growth there. I looked at also the northeast area. And the other day I went by the uh, state of, oh, was it uh, the edge of Texas? And I was surprised of all the growth that's there by the edge of Texas. I mean, they, and they're just continuing the growth there. So I looked at those three areas respectively. And those are the ones that are growing, east side, west side, and northeast. And what I did is I wanted to keep a map so that when voters go to vote, they say, hey, I've been here before. I don't have to go somewhere else. I don't have to go all the way down to Socorro to go vote if I live here uh, at Yarborough. So I kind of did that. I looked at that. I said, hey, I want to keep as many communities uh, where they go and vote. So I wanted to keep that uh, um, con uh, consistent. Then, of course, I looked at the community of interest. And although they don't have a border, per se, a physical border, I looked at Mission Hills. I looked at Cielo Vista. And these, by the way, I got from the League of Women Voters, all these community of interest. I looked at the Pueblo Viejo, Tigua. I looked at Mission Valley. I looked at the Segundo Barrio. And very specifically, I looked at Fort Bliss. You know, I had a couple of questions regarding Fort Bliss. And after I was slapped down, I kind of agree. I said, okay, let's keep it together. And then I looked at where the commissioners lived. And so I kept them so that we didn't have any competition between them. And then the portion of the precinct that were distributed, I did modified and, and divided some precincts. And if you see on the uh, district boundaries, <laughs> those precincts that are underlined, for example, PT86, PT87, PT115, PT127, well, all those are divided. And if you look at the other districts, you'll see that they're there as well. So I split between the, the districts, okay? Why? So I can get sh make sure that we could divide them up equally and evenly and fairly. Um, what I use is the main roads. I didn't put you know, part of one district over across from Lee Trevino or from Zaragoza or 375. I didn't split that. I try to keep them. I use the main roads as the district lines. And so that's my map. Any questions? Yes, ma'am. Compare this map to the one that the league had. had yes, I did. And could you maybe tell us? Yes, the difference is mainly, and thank you for asking that question, Alejandra, the Ford Bliss and, and why. Because as I had mentioned before, hmm, Ford Bliss to me was a little, um, why are we, it's almost like a football. Nobody really wants it, you know, because there's not that many voters there, but there is a population there. So however, what I did is I looked at Fort Bliss to be part of the military community, which is mainly in the northeast part of town. So I kept those two together. Okay. 
question. Oh, yes. A actually, uh, the, okay, the, the northeast part of Um, are, are, you, are, you call, are you calling the area where the four is Fort Bliss? Yes. Okay. That is true. Uh, that's a lot of training ground, but the population of Fort Bliss it actually is still remains <coughs> in, in, in Commissioner Stout's district. I actually split it between Commissioner Stout and, and uh, uh, Commissioner Robinson. Yes, correct. Yes. Because that's the way really they, they were before. I didn't change that. Yeah. Well, uh, like uh, where, the, that, where it, the people on Fort Bliss live is, is in that, that orange section just left of the, of the just, just west of the, of the yellow section. And, and if you see the, the line, the that's railroad that goes yeah. all the way up there. That's railroad drive. Right. Mm -hmm. You think uh, Mrs. Noel Rosenbaum will like your map? <laughs> no, no, no. But but you know, as I said before, I think that's what she's talking about right. When, when I read her her comments, I thought, okay, she's probably wanting to create another uh, district. You know, mm -hmm. and that's out of our purview. That's not what we're supposed to do. But if you wanted to split it, then you could, like Ramon says. You can add more to uh, two, right? Yeah. And then take away from four. But then the numbers change, and now now you're playing numbers again. Yeah, and I guess that's what I was, you know, my, my point mm -hmm. was that, you know, the comments we just heard a while ago, I mean, it completely would upset her all the way through. I don't know. You it, know and I don't know. I understand what I don't know what do, COI, you know? I don't know what uh, community of interest she represents, but. Uh, I mean, it would have been nice to yeah. to hear. You know. It's on the west side. They don't want to be She's a part the of the. She said her her comment yeah, you know. by email. Yeah. Is, is yeah. this being? Uh, it got accepted. Right now, or I mean, is she watching uh, maybe or no? Potentially, yes. We'll reach out to her in case she wants to speak during public comment Saturday morning. Commissioner Sela, with your permission, for Saturday, can I just repaint? District one or district two, like to reddish, so that they can be more a bigger difference. To as long as you don't make them pink, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> just so, just so there be more a distinct boundary between the yellow yeah. and the gold. light orange right. and the gold. Thank you all. Thank you. Very good. Good man. Hey, who's next? Uh, the next commissioner's precinct map was by uh, Commissioner Alejandra Chavez. No, I didn't submit a commissioner. You didn't submit a commissioner's no, map? No, I, I think I submitted two different maps for uh -huh. JP, but one wasn't printed correctly. Okay, so you want us to withdraw so, this one that's on the screen? Yeah, that one I did not know. Yes, correct. I don't know where that came from. Okay. We, but that's not something I did. We will withdraw it. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, so, so yeah. disregard that one. Uh, you, we covered yours already, right? This was the wrong one. Yeah, this was the wrong one. By the way, that's uh, a misspell on my last name. There's no S. Okay. <laughs> I will correct that. I, All right, I thank actually you. think that this is uh, Henry's map. Yes. With my name on it. Then I'll, we'll, we'll fix it. Um, the next map is by Commissioner Quintanilla. You got the wrong one. I kind of like the, the Liga Women's Voters uh, map that was presented because it's similar to with a few changes. And if you look at this, I think one of the main uh, reasons that I did this map is because of uh, as we had already always talked about community of interest. You know, I mean, there are certain communities that you want to stay within. And I, I want to remind you that uh, Commissioner Leon is one of the ones that really helped the Montana Vista area. Mm -hmm. He was the one that got provided the water, sewer, and all of this stuff for them because they worked more closely with Commissioner Leon than they did with uh, Commissioner, who was the other commissioner before him? I forget his uh, name. Pettis. Pettis. <laughs> no, yeah, Vince Pettis. 
Vince Pettis never took an interest in the Montana Vista area. You know, he tried real hard to try to help them, but really he never did. And, and this is my district. That's why I know. I don't live in the Montana area. I live in Tornillo. And we always had a hard time, you know, getting uh, Commissioner Pettis to try to join everybody together, but yet he kept us divided. And Precinct 167, or which is uh, the Montana Vista area, which is, uh, uh, that's why 167 and, uh, what's the one north of us, uh, 60? 167 and 166. Yeah, yeah 167 and 166 are the two right there. And Montana, the street Montana, or, you know, runs right between, divides those two precincts. But they are always referred to as the Montana Vista. The Montana Vista has always, like I said, I've lived in this district for, you know, all my life and, uh, and have worked with Commissioner's Court to see that they had general interest in certain areas, but we were never able to really communicate between the two communities. They are too far north, which is the Montana Vista I'm talking about, and completely Desert is between them. Of course, if you see it now, you, you would think that, you know, the growth that has occurred within the last three or four years has been tremendous. And that area keeps, you know, south of uh, 168. is still barren desert. I mean, it's, you know, no, no, no growth out there. So there's a lot of subdivision, a lot of division between that community of interest, which is Montana, we refer to as Montana Vista area, it's 67 and 66, did we say? 67. Six, 66 and 7. 66 and 7. So I think, uh, you know, when I mentioned this to the representative of the community, I mean, from the League of Women's Voters, was to try to keep those communities of interest. I noticed that we took Chihuahua in every map that we've taken now. Either we kept them together and took them away from, uh, I think I saw one here that still kept them in the northeast, you know, but most of them have come back and kind of compacted that area. And if you look at my map and that of the League of Women Voters, you can see that the compactness is really good right there. I mean, it, it, it really brings everybody in the northeast and, uh, you know, as, as one community, we're not going to satisfy Ms. Rosamond because, you know, it's still for uh, precinct, what is it, uh, four? Yeah, precinct four is still going to have to come across the mountain to gain population. It doesn't make any difference what we do unless, like you said, Mr. Legata, we come up with another commissioner, and I don't think we will be able to do that because then they wouldn't have a breaking vote. So my main interest was, like I said, to try to keep those communities together. And like I said, I know I've worked with Commissioner Leon to, when I was a state representative, more closely to try to help the Montana area because it was hard for Vince. I mean, uh, he could never really, um, Commissioner Pettis at the time, was never really interested in, in joining that group of Montana, they're, they're kind of rebels, you know, I mean, they're, they're, they're out there on their own and they're, they kind of want to keep their own area. And like I said, I mean, if you talk to certain of those people, and I talk to them, they, they like the idea of being in place at Commissioner Leon's precinct because they've worked with them. They're close to the jail down there and all of that area that continues to grow, and it continues to grow north of Montana. So that's why, and then if you go all the way to the, uh, to the Hutspeth County line, I mean, uh, uh, that district has grown all the way up there. They're scattered all north of that. It's a big, uh, there's a big difference between 67 and 66, because 66 is large plotted lots of, you know, <coughs> higher income people that is basically Republican. They always kind of vote, you know, the Republican side in, and then you take 6, 7 as more Democrat. I mean, and I'll tell you this because, you know, I, I've campaigned in those areas many, many years. So 
the reason that we took, and then I, I took liberty of talking to certain people that told us, and I think most of us know that Commissioner Leon doesn't plan on running again. I think he has basically publicly announced that he will not uh, run again, but I, I still felt like not to take him out of his precinct. And that's a little uh, diag, uh, what, what number is it, uh, Ramon? 126. Uh, yeah, where he's at, uh, Leon's, uh, you can see there the precinct and the Commissioner League of Women's Voters uh, map that, you know, he's, that little jag right there, we could basically take that one out and make it contiguous to all the way up to 179 up north, but we would take him out of his precinct. And I, I don't know, you know, if, yeah. we can't foresee the future of whether he really wants to run or not. So I don't think it'd be prudent to take him out of his district at this time. That's why it kind of keeps that little jag going into uh, Commissioner Three Ogin's district, if you notice. Uh, the populations, you know, one of the reasons that I kind of, you know, I like uh, League of Women's Voters because it makes it, you know, really 216 all the way through, but one of the reasons that I would like to, for you to consider my map or, uh, is basically because I know that the Precinct 3 is a lot larger. It's got more population than is, that was placed here because it grew the most of any district at this point in time. I mean, we already know that the population was higher in that district than it is in any, any other district in, the, in growth area. And I know basically that if you look at the census, I mean, if it had done correct, it would have grown a lot more. So. I, I like the League of Women's Voter because it gives it a real close percentage, but I kind of like mine because I know that the future holds a higher population for that area. Just, so, just as a comment, uh, Mr. Quintanilla, uh, I, I'm looking at the, at the map that was uh, the second map by the League of Women's Voters presented today, and your map, and they're almost identical. Yes, they, uh, except if you take... A, Basically. I know the League of Women Voters has taken those precincts right there up, uh, around uh, the, what is it, that? would it be Fort Bliss area? Is that where it is? Close to that? Yes. South? One, yeah, one you know, and he's taken those out, you know, and, and giving them to uh, Leon. Yeah, my, 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 my point is that the, the basic concept for both of your maps is very similar. You know, to you know, uh, yes. give or take a little bit from from one or the other, but uh, but but the, the the argument to add um, precinct 66 and 67, yeah. uh, it's uh, it it does result in a in. Yeah, I in think one of the biggest basic things is if you know, look at the precinct, uh, and I tried to tell 129, I think 129 up there and. Uh, those, you know, he has taken them out. Uh, I've left them in Commissioner Leon's district, and uh, the League of Women Voters has taken them out, and kind of, they've already belonged in, uh, I think at this point, I'm not sure, but I think they are in, uh, in the Olguin's or uh, Commissioner 3. Where that? So we would, the League of Women Voters took them out, I mean, and, uh, and gave them two. Just a real, a real quick point, a clarification on Commissioner Quintanilla's map. We drew this for him telephone-wise and helped him. Uh, we put the wrong numbers. Purple is yeah. Precinct 1. Mm -hmm. uh, the pinkish is Precinct 2, which is uh, Stout. Precinct 3 is Green. We just have the wrong numbers. Then Precinct 4 is Blue. I yeah. just put the wrong numbers on there. Right. It'll be fixed for Saturday. Oh, yeah. Very good. <laughs> so, but uh, that's basically what, you know, I mean, like I said, I mean, my main concern is, the, and uh, I think we had talked about it, uh, you know, keeping those community of interest yeah. in there together. And if, since they already identify more with the east side rather than the 
far east or the lower valley, you know, let them, let them uh, be happy. But uh, is there any questions? Uh, I, I think the deviation is pretty good. Yeah, I just have a comment. I like your map, uh, Commissioner. I think you take into consideration forecasting, population growth, and I think the legal women voters took the actual census data. Exactly. But living in that area, you and I, we kind of know that the population is a little higher than it really is reported. And I think that's what you incorporated in your map. So thank you. Yeah. And I think, you know, that was the point of reason because I know that uh, the lower valley and the area, which is Commissioner Precinct, uh, uh, Ileana Alguin's district is, has grown a lot more than is depicted by the census. So I would like for you all to take that into consideration. Thank okay. you. Th thank you very Great much. I, I do have a, a comment, not a question. Um, when we do the comparison this coming Saturday, are we going to be looking at the analysis portion? And, and I'll, the reason I'm asking that is because it, to me it's very important. For example, the League of, of uh, Women Voters came out with a difference among the highest and lowest commissioners of 179, and I can see their numbers are pretty close on the districts. But on, on uh, Mr. Quintanilla's, they vary from 217,000 to uh, 215,959. Uh, and so uh, I understand the deviation, but there's a big difference, I think, in the numbers. So uh, my recommendation is that when we look at this, we look at the analysis and the statistics of each and every map that's submitted. Yes, uh, and, 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 I, and I agree with that. And, and uh, at the end of the day, we're going to say, okay, uh, what is the, the real significance uh, difference between having a deviation of X or an X plus a little bit different or a difference in compactness? Uh, you know, we'll take that into consideration, uh, but, you know, and, 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 there, and, and there was some um, advice as to uh, what criteria we need to, to cover, and, and that was in the resolution itself. So, so right. yes, we, we, need, we need to look at all those. And among us, make a determination what one makes one better than the other. We've got some really good maps here. But uh, as of right now, no map has been submitted that breaks the deviation rule. Every right. one of them has been within yeah. what they're supposed to be. No, and I'm so not it's going to be about, your all's choice. Yeah, Ramon, just to make it clear, I'm not talking about deviation. I'm talking about maybe it does relate to deviation, but what I'm talking about is the League of Women Voters, Mr. Ivarra submitted a comment that says the difference among the highest and the lower commissioners is this amount, 179. Yeah. And I did the same thing. Yes, you did. Right? And so my, my comment is that that was actually part of adding the numbers for each of the districts and then saying, okay, this is the largest, this is the lowest, and then that difference is what was added in there. And I just think my recommendation is that we ought to follow the same standard across the board. But I really believe that we need to be futuristic about this whole issue also. We're talking about the present, what you're talking about, the present numbers, and we know that the future holds a much larger population coming out of the lower valley and uh, north, the, you know, I mean, south of Montana, because I mean, all you have to do is go out there and look. And it, it is just blowing up. I mean, it's just great growth. I mean, and I think uh, in, 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 you, you also are aware of In support so, of you, Mr. Quintanilla's comment, the projected population uh, before the final census was higher than what the census right. came up with. Right. So, so there's a reasonable argument that says that population may have been undercounted. Uh, so, so uh, you know, but we, we have to work with the data we have, right? We have to work yeah. with, with, uh, with the census numbers. Uh, uh, so, uh, and anything else, uh, any other comments on Mr. Quintanilla? Yes, uh, very good map, thank you. Uh, the next map was proposed by Commissioner Benoit. He did ask for us for, to hold off discussion on this because he could not be here, but he'll be here Saturday and he'll talk about it real quick. And that's the last one of the county commissioner's maps. Uh, the first one is on the JP's map is from Commissioner Chavez. But uh, Chairman, before we get into that, there is one public comment that signed up uh, 
and I was just waiting for her to show up. Okay. And she wants to talk about the JP maps, and it is Justice of the Peace, Rebecca Bustamante. Yeah. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I want to say thank you all for all the work that you're doing. I know it's very difficult, and in the end, it's going to be a very difficult decision, I understand. Um, but what I wanted to actually just bring up, the, the first two maps that I have seen from the Women's League, and I think the other one was, what was the second one? Okay, not, not this one in particular, but the first two maps, Michael there were very, Apodaca. there you go, Michael Apodaca. So there were very good maps. Um, what I wanted to comment on is my current jurisdiction runs from a few streets past McRae all the way to Saragossa and I-10 to Montana, which is a very big area. And what I was going to comment, please keep in mind, um, between Joe Battle and Saragossa, that's way on the other side of where I'm supposed to be at. Um, so keep in mind that to um, where you're going to where you're going to be uh, dis when you're going to be deciding on where I understand that my population is the highest. Um, I understand that I'm going to have to give up. <laughs> right. I'm going to have to give up some population. Um, but between Saragossa and Joe Battle, that's a big area that I have. And to me, I think that belongs to JP6. Okay, I really do. We're talking about our constables having to travel to the other side and, and you know, wear and tear on their vehicles, you know, to the other side. And I think one of the maps still kept me there. Um, and that's why I wanted to bring it up to you so that you can consider that. Okay, um, because it does keep me still between Joe Battle and Saragossa. Okay. I mean, I don't know if you'll agree with me, but that is county, costing the county money, having the constables going over there to the other side in their vehicles to serve any uh, defendants or um, anything that they have to do. It's, it's on that side. So that's where I would have you consider to take away first, to, to take away whatever population, and then from there, take it from somewhere else, the other side, to keep my precinct intact. Um, there's a little area in America or by America's high school. I have no idea why that's not my jurisdiction. That's not my precinct. That belongs to JP5. Why? I don't know. It's like right in the middle. So that doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so you might want to look at that as well and somehow give that back to me and then take out from the bottom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is there a map that shows that? I mean, no, you're... This is the current map. Uh, do you have any proposed map that, I mean, that no, would give us no. a, we, more we, of an idea of what you were talking about? Because even though you're, you're east of uh, the loop, that's one of the biggest areas that has grown, and if we were to put that area back into JP6, I mean, it would blow up their population big time, you know, so I think... Right, which I believe they do need some of that, um, you know, because, I mean, to make it even, um, so that I'm just asking that it be taken from that area first, because I think my, my area is going to be reduced because I'm, my population is one of the highest. Mm -hmm. It's grown a lot. So if you're going to take away from my population, I, I ask that you take it from that side and maybe JP6 would be able to take it from there. That's not quite Montana Vista because it's all the way Saragossa. It's right before Montana Vista. The Saragossa runs mm -hmm. um, in a slanted direction, yeah. right? Miss? So this is the current district. Okay. Yeah. So where is the Joe Battle? Right here. That little blue. Yeah. This goes up. Battle is. So, because this is the current map you're telling me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if this is Joe Battle, I still have this part up here. Battle? Okay, so yeah. this is the area that I have right here. That's okay. the area you're saying? Right. 
So if this is Joe Battle on this side, then if you weren't this way with the JP um, six two six two, it would make more sense yes, than. But judge, that's a big area. Just, that's a lot of population in that one little area. It is a tremendous big area. I mean, it's right. just heavily populated. But be yeah, right there, it's heavily populated. I mean, it's. Probably one of the most there's a right. Yeah. There's a lot of new houses out in that area. Oh, yeah. Up there, yeah. where um, Sheriff Wiles' office and all that. That's my area as well. I, I do have a, a, a question. Uh, I'm looking at the current map, uh, and I, I can see what you're pointing to. But you, uh, in some of the proposed maps, uh, area remains significantly the same, um, just a, a smaller footprint. In, uh, just to uh, equal populate, and right. in, in the case of justice of the peace, uh, your point was is well taken that uh, uh, compactness is more important because you don't want uh, uh, to to drive long distances if you can avoid it. So, so uh, I, I'm just looking at some of the proposed maps, and and and, and your um, your district. Shrinks a little bit. It shrinks a little bit on the east side, on the right. west side. I'm sorry. Um, one and of the maps has me also taking the area where Tinseltown is, which is in the bottom part, close to the freeway. And like I said, there's a small area, and I don't know where it's on the map, where where America's High School is. For some reason, that belongs to JP5, which is on the other side of the freeway. So, yeah. and I'm not sure exactly. No, um, I see what you're saying. 126 and 125. It's 125 and 124 and 130 that are not. They're in JP5. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I can see that now. Mm -hmm. so have you looked at the maps that have been submitted? Is there one that you would recommend? Uh, the well, maps that have been submitted by different, you know, there's quite a few maps that have been submitted for JPs. And uh, I don't know, you know, you probably need to look at them and come back and let us know on Saturday if you can get a hold of all the maps that have been submitted because there are a lot of differences in right. every one of those maps. So you might want to look right. at Right. I think there was one map that had, I think, taken a little bit from that side, but then a little, album, the album park area, now we're talking the other side, and then still in the bottom, um, the Tinseltown area. So it's kind of like, to me, to me, it's like take this side first, whatever's left over, then maybe you can take it on the other side. But then um, some of those, like I tell you, a couple of those maps that I saw took a, a big chunk from the Tinseltown area. So it, it. Are you basically concerned because of the, uh, mm -hmm. the what is it? When the evictions are called, what, under civil or what is it? What is it? Right. Are you talking about What's, basically right. because they were evictions that you're. Your and it's, state, I mean, your uh, uh, constables have to move? Is that why you're Yes, about? because, um, and I'm talking more on the, far between Dobaro and Saragosta, because on that side, they have a lot to, you know, to go over there and evict people, serve people, and, and all that. So it's a lot of wear and tear on their vehicles, plus their time. Um, and so, again, that's on the other side of, the, of Joe Dobaro. That's, I'm on, on George Theater. Uh, close to Pebble Hills, right. okay? Um, so down George Dieter, you ha they're accessible to me, you know, right there, all that area. And then if they took from that side and then the map took also Album Park area, which be I believe was sent over to JP1, which is here downtown. So you're, you're basically three. concerned about your possibles and not what you have. No, I'm actually concerned start. about that, but I'm also concerned that um, the the my constituents actually have access to me, you know, to, for it to be closer. Like Americas doesn't make sense to me why they have to go file in JP5, the, the little area, the two precincts in, J, in, uh, in by Americas High School. That's what, Pelicano? You know, they have um, to go file on the other side, on Socorro, on the other side of the freeway. The same thing if, you, if, if Tinseltown area is taken to me, they're gonna have to file on the other side of the freeway. So the people from there in that area don't have access to JP4. They're gonna to have to go across the other side of the freeway into Socorro to file anything in JP5. 
Ms. Bustamante, I, I, I kind of agree with uh, Mr. Quintanilla. Um, we have uh, the, the maps that have been submitted, okay, and, and that's what the choices we have. We, we, we right. could incorporate changes on, on Sunday, but it would be nice if we could get a, a comment as to which of the proposed maps it uh, resolves or addresses your issue better. Okay, so so in looking at the League of Women Voters from September 16th. From the September 16th, this is this is the first one that was out, right? Yes. Okay. So it does there is a little area I'm not sure where that is on that side, see right there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what that area is, but it is still on the other looks like in the other side of Joe Battle, and that's that's fine. And but it again it takes this one actually takes a lot from the bottom of or Tinsel Town area, okay? Which, like I said, it's, I'm, I'm just concerned that they don't have to go to the other side of the freeway to file any eviction cases or any type of, of small claims cases. So, so you're, not asking, you're advocating for your constituents. As well, as my constituents, because I want them to stay there. My constables as well will only be serving in that area. You know, it's a lot of wear and tear on the vehicles to be traveling on the other side, constantly serving on the other side. Um, Luis Aguilar. Luis, Agu Luis Aguilar. Okay. Um, Chairman, we will get her all the JP maps so she can see it. Yeah, yeah I, I think that will really help us to. I, I have seen the, the JP maps. I'm just concerned there's one more that we can talk about on Saturday. Okay. okay, that one, since we can't talk about it today, that's why I, I didn't mention that, but. I appreciate your input. Yes. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. I thank appreciate you. all you're doing. And uh, next we go on to the JP maps, and I think we've corrected yours, Commissioner Chavez, to have you. Well, I submitted two, two different maps. And is this one of them? That's, pull it up on my phone here. That's the second map, yes. Yeah. So I, I made two different maps, and Deborah Camontes, I only have map one from her. We don't have map. We don't have map two printed. Out. No, we, I have one and two. Well, I think Albert, the, the second one was one of not yours, right? Not mine. I think yeah, one of them was wrong. So, well, um, we we, we printed it and we're handing it out. Map one is not legitimate. No, we, no, map we, one we is, got the wrong one. Oh, wait. Map two is the one that's on the. So that screen. one is correct. It was correct. And so, so, so uh, Alejandro, are, are you saying that uh, you're submitting map both maps map or, or just. Maps. I made both maps. And except two, they had originally printed precinct. this, this one that good? looked more like a commissioner's map. But that's not. Oh, right. okay. Well, I got you. Okay. This, this is, is, is uh, valid. This is no good. Do you want to pull the? Map one is. I'm going to talk about both of them, but. That, this one first. that one's yes. Which one's that one? Map one or map two? This one's map two. The one that's on this the board. Is the one. She just gave us this one. Yes, sir. And the first one. The one that's on the board is the one you all have. Map two. Map two. Can I just make a recommendation for? Saturday. Could we put numbers on them? Oh, and make it instead of the name? Yeah, just put like one, two, three, four, and that way we all know. Like an index and everything, too. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Make it easier. Yes. We will. No, that's good. Mine says map one, and then it says map two. Yeah? I, got, I understand yours, but we've got all these other maps. Oh, out. okay. <laughs> yes. I did put map one and then map yeah. two. So you know I, it's two proposals. They're separate. Yeah. And of course, we know that. There's just so many ways to go about these maps. So it's actually, I think, to our benefit to, to play around with the different precincts and, and the populations. But I have to tell you that the way I started making both of these maps was by keeping all the constables, all the JPs, and all the offices in the current precinct that, they're, that they are so that um, we wouldn't have to um, move any offices and save the county money, of course. Um, I, I, I thought that was important, even though Mr. Chairman had told me last time that it wasn't 
as important, but to me it was, to try to save the county some money. Um, I also didn't want the constables to have to run against each other as they had told us during our last meeting that they preferred not to if they didn't have to and to try to keep, of course, the JPs in their same district. So this is the way I started both of these maps. First, I, I flagged where all the constables live, where all the JPs live, and where all the offices live, so I wouldn't touch those areas. And then I basically just started playing around with the areas and um, the population. So the first map has a deviation of 6.44%, and it's uh, compact 55. And uh, the population was a little tricky. It was very hard to get it um, as close as, as possible. As you see, JP4 has 110, and then there's some with 106. JP, um, well, if you add both JPs 6.1 6 and 6.2, 6 and 6 it, it, it. Are, are, you, are you talking about map one or map two? Map one, right now, okay. And then for map two, I, I prefer it. I liked it better once I made a second map uh, because I felt like it was um, more compact. It's 58, and the deviation was lower. It's 4.23%. But from what um, the judge was just telling us, and I'm, I'm sorry she left, yeah. I think she would prefer map one. She would have liked map one. I think she would prefer map one. I wonder why she left. She should have left. Uh -huh. and, and I was going to also tell Judge Herrera if he, could, if he could take a look at them to give us his opinion as well. Um, and, and I mean, I think that was the feedback that she just gave us. I mean, we didn't know. Um, I, I thought that map two was better because the deviation was lower and it was more compact. But given the information she just told us, you know, maybe that's not as important as, as what she was just uh, advocating for. So these are my maps. Oh, I'd be more than happy to answer more questions. Here, judge. judge, they want your opinion on the map. Oh. Which one? Which uh, um, can I borrow? Well, here, you can borrow. Here. I was just explaining both of my maps, and um, and they are a little different. But from the information you just gave us, I think you would prefer. And, you know, of course, this is not, this is just a proposed illustrative map. You would prefer map one, Judge? Okay, so on this one, where's that slant? Is that still Saragossa or is mm -hmm. that? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, as a commissioner, I just thought I prefer map two because the numbers are better. But from what you just told us, maybe you would prefer map one. <laughs> Hmm. It would seem to keep a little one, bit of that right. area, but the, on the bottom part. Mm -hmm. But it looks like on the you from that on the map one, you already took off from Jobaro to Saragossa. Is that right? Yes. Part of it. Yeah. Part of it. I'm, I don't know. I mean, we could work it. I'd be more than happy to try to draw more maps out. Right. I, I would. Yeah. I would like. Yeah. I like map one better than two. You yes. like map one better. Yes. Okay. I wish we could hear from all of the judges, you know? And I was just explaining to, to the other commissioners that my number one priority was to keep the constables, the JPs, and the offices where they currently are located. And for me, um, District 5 and uh, District 5 was the toughest because the office is way down south, and then the other ones are the office, the residents, sorry, are, are not close by as also with District 3. You can't see them very clearly on this map because it's, it's, um, right. <laughs> it's kind of small, but you could, you, if, you, if anybody has the, um, this map that we got on September 16th, you can see that the office is way down here and the residences are up here. So you have right. to have that. I mean, if you want to keep the office in that district, you have to have that little chunk right there. And right, you're, you talking about population. Population. you're talking about JP5, right? You're talking about JP5. JP5 and J. Right, it's on Socorro Road. And the constable lives yeah. way over by Escada Park. Yeah. yeah. And JP and in JP District Three also, you know, the, the office is here and the residences are all the way over here. So it's hard to play around with those numbers if you try to keep all of those three things mm -hmm. in the same. 
all decide to change JP5 because mm -hmm. the county has to adjust and yeah. open another office. Okay. Change office. Yeah. And, and many years that ago, I remember. the main reason you guys draw JP. Right. The office. And maybe that's right. Yeah. It's the people. The people that are more important. Yeah, go ahead. In reference to your comment, that would be if we would move the line over and take District 5's or G, uh, Precinct 5's office and put it in another section is what you're referring to, right? He would have to adjust and then possibly better serve the community that he's in to, to c create that compactness uh, and, you know, putting them and serving better. Office form. Right. Right, he's Pearson, not, yes. He's on executive. He's not in the county annex, not in the county building. He's right. an executive. They have tried, like uh, Justice Pearson said, all the JPs in county buildings, but it's impossible because there's not a county Six, yeah, five. Six, two is not. It's in a mobile, it's in a mobile trailer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you would probably welcome a move and place in a building. <laughs> but I don't think uh, county's going to build with, a with running water and Ms. <laughs> 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 Bustamante, may, may I ask you? Uh, uh, and maybe I misunderstood some of your concerns, uh, especially when you said you you prefer Map One versus Map Two, be, be, because Map Two keeps your area essentially west of Zaragoza. Okay. And map one gives you precincts that are east of Zaragoza Drive. And if I heard you correctly, you did not want that. Well, it looks like map two still has me, because of the slant and the way I see it, it still has me all the way to Zaragoza. Yeah, mm -hmm. on two, okay? Right, on two. Uh, the, but the, on one, it does, it does, it looks like it doesn't. That's why I was confused. Down. I was confused why you said you prefer map one because it didn't jive with your comments. I'm just trying to clarify. Because it looks like map one, which is Joe Battle. Okay, remember Joe Battle and Zaragoza is a big area. Um, and I'm in on uh, my office is on George Dieter, and I have from right now currently McRae all the way to Zaragoza. So between Joe Battle and Zaragoza, that's a big area that it looks like it's still on map two. But map one doesn't, it, since it looks like it's a straight line up, that's probably Joe Battle. That's what I'm looking at. Is that correct? But Judge, uh, Ms. Chavez? Yes. Map two make it more compact for you rather than going to map one, which stretches you all the way now south to the freeway. It goes all the way south. Well, almost. I, and it's, it's hard not to as tell. It's compact as number see, two. It ends at I 10. Right, because see, yeah, I see that map one ends like on I 10. Yes. And then there's a little, I don't know, like a little. And, and you were talking about, you know, committee, I mean, more of your people getting closer to you. Now you have people right. coming all the way from the freeway or close to the freeway all the way up to your office up there on. Uh, it's still on my side of the freeway. In other words, it's between I-10 and, and Montana, right? But, yes. Right. So that's. But that's why I'm thinking that map two even though it gives you a population on the other side, it's more compact and basically gives you compactness and more Shit. community of interest in that area. All of those people are considered east side. And now right. you go south of the freeway, I mean, to the freeway, and they're, they're no longer east side, they're more oh, south. <laughs> So I don't know. I mean, that's just a right. Because if you see the slant, because Zaragoza goes at a slant, mm -hmm. that's why you have such a big area between Joe Battle and Zaragoza. Okay, um, so that's where you see the slant. And I'm not sure. I'm up in the upper part. That little square up there is mm -hmm. also where the um, sheriff's office, with the sheriff's office, that's still on the other side of yeah. Joe Battle. Right. See, so that's why I see this one. I don't see that as well up here. And it is keeping it straight down, which is more compact. To me, I see it more compact that way. Yeah, because you will still take a lot of uh, people from north of Montana. You know, from, from Montana, Montana no. by the sheriff's 
the, not on this map. Because map number one. Yeah, on map number one. That's what I'm saying. It looks like this is Joe Battle. So. Yeah, Joe Battle runs up there, and then you go across, and there's the sheriff's. Uh, well, the, the jail is on that. Right. Side. It would. Well, you would wind up with that area. Well, that is my area right one. now. Exact. No, map number two I mean, number gives two. me that area. Number yes. Two. Exactly. So map number one doesn't have that. No, but it goes south on the way toward the freeway. And that's what you were arguing when the first before you came. Yes. That you had some of those people on the American area that had no, no. Uh, well, she, she was arguing that those American people should be in her district. They're in JP5 instead district. Of, instead of, oh, instead and JP5 of the district, district. Right. right. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, and I don't know if that happened in the last redistricting, but, but that small area was pulled over so they have to go all the way to Socorro to yeah. file any evictions or anything in that little area where America's high school is. So if I am listening correctly, Judge is saying that map one addresses both her concerns. Um, doesn't resolve all her concerns, but it's the best of what's been presented. Right. And I think yes. uh, Commissioner Chavez did a great job. Thank you. Yeah, yes, thank you. I would yes, like to you. mention one more thing. Um, <laughs> Judge Herrera had mentioned that uh, he liked uh, Michael, Mr. Abodaca's map number one, and I don't see a deviation listed on it. It says it is within the 10% limit, but I don't know what it is because it's not 8%. Okay. And, um, and, um, I, and this is just going by the statistics now, okay? Do I have it here? Uh, Chris's map, and I know he's not here to defend it, and that, you know, so we can hear from him on Saturday. I think his deviation is... Six something, right? Six two nine. I'm sorry, sir. Six two nine. Six two nine, and the league has the the lowest deviation of one point four eight. So, I... Commissioner Chavez, just just so that I understand, both of your maps protect both the justice of the peace and the constables that yes. they are not redistricted out. That is correct. Okay. And, and I'm not sure what we're going to discuss on Saturday or how we're going to come to a decision, but apparently, you know, the deviation is important, but maybe we have to also weigh in, uh, you know, the opinion of the judges and the public and everybody else. And so maybe it's not just going to come down to the statistics. I'm not sure. And Commissioner, I think you raise a very good point because I think you covered all the elements of all the concerns mm -hmm. from all the parties that have come before us. Yes. And to do that is just extraordinary. <laughs> so giving us option A and B is pretty right. amazing. Um, and I just wanted to uh, just wanted to make a quick What comment. would Judge Haggerty <laughs> say about that? You're putting in way, now you're creating a problem for Judge Haggerty in that people in the Montana area, that area that you placed there, now have to go all the way up to northeast. Yeah. Which is, where is this office located? Uh, uh, I have it right here. It's way up there north. Yeah. It is on uh, near Colton. Now you're inconveniencing the people in the general area of Montana, which are going to be 20 miles or more from Judge Haggerty. So maybe Judge Haggerty needs to be notified. We're going to have a map yeah, like this so. showing him because I think he would go bananas yeah. <laughs> just like you, you know, I mean, you don't want that other area. He wouldn't want that area going all the way. Right. There's no, no commonality at all between that area of Montana, In the northeast. which, are, you know, we're taking out right here and giving it to Judge Haggerty. It's, uh, I think it'd be, I think it's an injustice to those people to have to travel again for civil, his, his uh, constables now would have to travel miles and miles, miles to miles. serve people in that, that area around the jail area. I mean, I, I, mean, I think uh, it's a... That's something you know, to I, consider. I know we're addressing her problem, right, but right. we're creating a much bigger problem now for a judge in northeast El Paso. Yeah. And I would agree. I mean, there's no perfect solution, unfortunately. No. But we know that the so growth is towards the east. And so we need to kind of adjust. And so Mr. Bracamonte said that the county would address locating the JP's office to, address, you know, what's more central based on the demographics. And so. Because I think a constable for, uh, I'm not sure who the constable is for 
Commissioner, ha I mean, uh, Judge Haggerty's office is, but he's in his, his office is right there in the same uh, complex, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. The, I mean, the county had provided, built him a new building there for that purpose, to put them together in the same building. It's a brand new building. It's a beautiful building that houses the JP and uh, the constable. So, Frank, again, please. you know, I differ with the idea that it's hard, but I think we need to find another solution and keep that area in your area and take away somewhere out here. It, it, it wouldn't. I understand. If I may, real quick, and, and I can respect those comments, uh, Chente, but you know, I think, like uh, Ms. Chavez mentioned, we have to take into consideration also the amount of time that the, the, the representation of the com of the justices of the peace taking their time to come out here and provide us their input, provide us their direction, sure. and. and in giving us that out in that input as we have to make these dif difficult decisions. Yes, it's been so long since this has been corrected, um, but she has taken the time to come and, and be here and answer our questions, and we're not going to get it right for everybody's going to be happy. Uh, that is a concern, but there's avenues and there's thoroughfares there with the growth and expansion that we're looking with the loop that the, the Northeast JP can get down into that area. And she did take the time to come out here and provide us her direction and, and her guidance in how she would like this thing managed. And I think we need to respect that along with the other JPs that have taken the time to be out here as well. You know? Absolutely. Good point. David, did you have a comment? Yes, I was just going to say that the area that we're talking about there, just, just uh, north of, of uh, Montana, uh, out there on the east side, uh, if that were to go into, to, uh, uh, like in, in Map 1 into, into JP2's district, uh, that wouldn't justify putting the, the constable's office out that way. It would, it would remain where it is because that's where the majority of the population would be. But they would have to travel that distance to go out to, to service that area. And you've got the, you know, it, you've got the loop. That's there. I mean, I, I travel on it, and a lot of people do, and, and it, it makes it pretty easy to go from northeast to east side that way. Um, it, it's a lot of a land that, that, that there's just no population in between because you're, you're going around, the, around Fort Bliss. But I, I really believe those people go, go crazy when they find out that, <laughs> yeah. they had, that, that they have to go serve themselves or go okay. pay a ticket or whatever. Okay. Can All the way to Judge Haggerty's office, when there's two, you got Serna's office right there, yeah. and then you got uh, your office, right. you know, within that general area of less than five miles. Okay. I, I, I now suggest, you're going to have to ask uh, people to travel Mr. 30 Mr. miles. Mr. Quintanilla, I, I, I would suggest that this is a conversation proper for Saturday. Yep. Okay. Uh, th there's lots of opinions. We knew that this was going to be the hardest thing that we have to do. Uh, so, 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 so let's, let's uh, reserve extended comments uh, uh, on this for, for Saturday because there's a lot of good points mm -hmm. being said. Uh, and I think we're all learning a little bit from each of the comments. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. And that concludes the maps that were presented this week. Okay. Uh, no action needed on item number four. Receive any illustrative maps. Item number five. Oh, Ramon. Chairman. Uh, uh, yes, Mr. Rivera. I just had a general comment that on your map. You, you, you got to talk to the mic. Introduce yourself. This is George Ibarra with the League of Women Motors, and I'm just looking at the maps here that the other folks have presented, and uh, uh, like on map number one. Um, Commissioner Chavez, it's real difficult to see the color distinction between the, the districts there. So we could alter those maps so make it clearer for us, okay. it would help. Okay. I, I think that's a good point. And if we follow what the current map has in terms of colors, you know, then, then there will be a standard color scheme. Uh, and, but, uh, uh, okay. Okay. Item number Thank five, you. discuss and take appropriate action regarding future meetings and agenda items. Uh, Chairman? 
Okay, uh, presentation of the proposed map to the Council County Commission. Okay, all right. Well, the date has been set. Uh, October 18th is, is the date that the, that, that the report is, uh, is to be delivered. Um, uh, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I, I don't think we need to deliver anything other than uh, until the 18th. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, uh, I, I have started putting the framework of the report itself. I'm trying to capture as much information uh, about the, the maps and obviously detailed information about the selected map. Um, the, um, and then they have three weeks or three weeks, three weeks. until November 8th uh, to, um, to make their decision as to what they select, whether what, what we present or anything else that they might want to consider outside of what we deliver. Uh, I know that's not the desire. Uh, the the, the, the um, justification on, on the resolution says that if any commissioner has an objection to, to any map that was presented by this commission, that they'll have to, to uh, defend it. You know, uh, so, so, so that's, that's part of our, our actions. Uh, the, um, so I, I, I don't think those dates will change. Uh, my question was if, uh, do we have to be physically present on the 8th? On which on, on the 8th, when they, when they actually uh, adopt the map? Uh, you do not, but I would request that you be here in case there's questions, especially as the chairman. Okay. And if anybody else from the commission wants to be here on October 18th when we present, or on November 8th when they adopt, you guys are more than welcome. Uh, we also have the option that you can, you can join the meeting virtually through Teams, and the commissioners have to be sitting here, but the audience participation can be in person or through Teams, either way. And then the other point, don't forget Saturday, we're in this room again, October, uh, this Saturday at 9 a.m. At, 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 at 9 a.m.? At 9 a.m. You have menudo? <laughs> we, we can. And I'm going to try to print the maps bigger so that we can look at the numbers and even if it means putting the statistics on the back page or something so that the maps are more important. Because like I said, there hasn't been a single map presented that breaks the deviation rule, not right. one. So while that's important, they're all very close in population, they're all following the rules. And I think at this point, the bigger the map you have, the better is what you guys want to look at. So, Mr. Chair, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I'll, I'll, uh, could we have in preparation for Saturday, kind of like a, a summary, like a one page Excel sheet that shows all of the proposed maps, the deviation rates, the population counts, so that we can look at them side by side? Um, I think that would make it easy for <laughs> Uh, that, that's exactly what I was, I was going to ask to see if we could get an index of some sort, um, in, in, uh, the names, the listings, any of that pertinent information with some sort of evaluation sheet as well for us to, you know, figure out comments, uh, yes, no's, um, so, something for us as, as we start, you know, whittling these maps down. What, what, what I was envisioning, um, is that we have a whiteboard so that we can list out all the maps, list out the metrics associated with the maps, you know, have uh, comments on, on, on the purpose of why that map is the way it is, okay, so that we can see them all uh, in, in, in one board. And I don't know if, if it's available uh, to have one of those uh, whiteboards uh, versus them having to create a, a an Excel spreadsheet, for example, that we can only see. Uh, uh, I think it's pretty easy, though, to do because all of the maps have the same data. And as opposed to flipping pages, we just list them in columns. And if you need help, I'd be more than happy to do that for us um, if we couldn't do it. But I just think it's very important that we all see exactly mm -hmm. what it is that we're comparing. So apples yeah. get compared to apples and pears right. to pears um, without losing. Go to pat map one. No, not that one. It's the other one. They have a number. They say this one has a deviation rate of 0 0.08. This one has a deviation of 0.12. Okay. And we just kind of know and we just kind of see which meets what criteria. Well, um, you, you realize that you just volunteered, so we expect <laughs> that to be uh, on Saturday. <laughs> I, I will definitely do that beforehand because I just think it makes it yeah, efficient it for us. It does. Um, as commissioners to just consider everything in, in its order. And we 
just kind of look at everything all in one place. And we also know our charge. We were told very specifically what characteristics we need to consider. We itemize those and those that meet it get the green check mark. Those that don't meet it don't have it and so those don't get considered. We move on to the next criteria and so at the very end we're going to have possibly two, three maps that we're going to kind of talk about but it's a lot more concise discussion than considering seven maps. That's Agreed. just my opinion. I agree. Uh, Mr. Osegueda? Mr. Chair uh, and Ramon, uh, and we, we've been putting a lot of emphasis on deviation, but you've made a comment here that none of them break the rule. What is the rule that could be broken? What is that we're talking about? More than 10 percent. More 10, than 10 percent, yeah, right? more than 10 percent. So, so looking at this population of 865, are you talking about that 10 percent or per district? It, per, per district. Per district. The easiest way to, to, to say it is, like on the JPs, it's 108,000 the target population. If you put one of the JPs at 104,000 population, then the next, the biggest one should not be more than 114,000. If you have one that's 104 and one that's 115, you've broken the 10 percent deviation. That's the easiest way to explain it very and good. the easiest uh, way to get there. No, no, thank you very much. But, but bear in very mind good. that that 10 percent is the, the threshold by which uh, uh, it can be challenged legally. Yes. Right. Okay. Uh, it, it 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 does not detract from the fact that the lower the deviation, potentially the better the map. Okay. Just that, just because it's legal doesn't doesn't make it better. But if but would, but if it's less than ten percent, say it's it, it's legal. It's legal. Point zero one eight percent. And we're saying, oh, that's a good map because of that. It doesn't mean that it's going to be challenged anyway, right? It probably won't be challenged, <coughs> more likely. No, that, no, you're true. Yeah, uh, as long as it's less than 10 percent, it will not be challenged. None of, okay. okay, good. Uh, that's a good it, point. It's just one of the criteria that we will use to choose one versus the other. Just one of the criteria. Good. So we uh, we will work with Commissioner Alvidres to come up with a good scoring sheet as you can have on Saturday. Excellent. Day after tomorrow. Do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are we wasting time? Um, will there be more maps uh, proposed on Saturday as well? Or it sh shouldn't be. Today was the last day yes, for public day. maps. Now the commissioners, if you, if somebody wants to redraw one today or tomorrow, the commissioners have a right to submit another one to us. It's the public that that we were right. trying to cut off. And of course, it would be up to you all. If somebody in public comment comes up Saturday morning and says, I want you to consider this, then it would be up to you all. Through the chair, Ramon, I mean, is Chris going to present his map on Saturday? Yes, he said he'll be here Saturday and he'll present both his maps on Saturday. So we'll hear the presentation before we go into the evaluation. So. It, it's all part of uh, the agenda is already said you all have the agenda for Saturday right. mm -hmm. but we wrote it broad enough to be able to discuss anything with the JP maps and the commissioner maps I think that's all we need for item 5 any other comments on that item 5 if, if I can make a clarifying just comment because it was stated earlier and I just want to make sure that I, I state this before we move on so it was mentioned earlier that um, I believe somebody who had submitted an email in public comment that it, are they asking us to create another precinct? And again, Christina Sanchez, Assistant County Attorney, I just wanted to, to let you all know that per this Texas Constitution, it's Article 5, Section 18, that sets forth the number of commissioners. So you have a, mm -hmm. one county judge, four commissioners, and they're divided amongst the four precincts. So it's set by, by the Texas Constitution. You can't expand that, but just wanted to make sure to, to let you all know. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Motion to adjourn. Yeah. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Okay. The El Paso County Redistricting Advisory Commission meeting is over at 5.46. 5.46 p.m. <laughs>